Tell me the story about when Jennifer was a baby and we came this way. Yes, we went to the Joe Wheeler house. Joe Wheeler was a Confederate general. And when we drove up, the house was really overgrown and scary and all that, but we, we persevered and we went in the back door um, to the house. And this little old lady, little old lady was there and we had to um, pay a certain fee. Um, she reached up on top of the refrigerator, got a cigar box down. No, she had you do it. She was too yeah, short. Yeah, because she was too short. She had me do it. And then we basically were on the honor system to pay and make change and all that kind of stuff. Because I don't think she could see to make the change. No, she couldn't see. So she took us all over the house. She was a lovely lady. She showed us in the living room where there was a gold mirror. Um, there was so much stuff in that house that, that you could have just knocked her down and taken it. Um, but then she went to several rooms and she said, oh, the family has come and taken everything from this room and that room and the other room. But still, there was enough stuff in that house it's that... Like a small museum. Oh, my goodness. So, Miss Annie was... Annie was the last of Joe Wheeler's uh, children and she took us up to one of the rooms and she let Jennifer play with those old toys from the 1860s china she, dolls and hand carved wooden stuff and, and she opened a wardrobe that had beautiful gowns in it and Wheeler's uniform yeah it was craziness so then we go to another room and there is newspaper all over the light fixture and the whole time she keeps mentioning miss annie and then touching J sharon's arm going did, did you know miss annie you, you didn't know miss annie did you yeah she could ask me she, if i knew miss annie uh, so don't tell okay don't we're that. not going to tell that part yet so anyway there was newspaper up on these light fixtures and she said Miss Annie doesn't like the light in um, her eyes so we have the newspaper up there and we're going okay and we have pictures somewhere of Jennifer in that little room playing with those toys so then Miss Annie takes us around the property oh, the no little the little old lady takes us around the property and yeah the whole time she's asking me do you know Miss Annie so she's taking us around the property. She shows us this old dog run um, log cabin there. And she, sh she shows us the cemetery where they're all buried. Okay, we found Miss Annie's grave. She had died in 1954. And it was 19, what, 84? Yes. 84, 85, yes. You've been 30 years dead. We, and, and they still had that newspaper up on those light fixtures. And she was talking about Miss Annie like she was just gone to the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, it would freak me the heck out. Are we still filming? Yes. Okay. And then as we were leaving, her son came back, who was a middle-aged, 30-ish year old man, middle-aged. And he fussed at her for showing people around because he told her to, if anybody showed up while he was gone to make them wait until he got back. So we got a special behind the scenes with that little old lady that we shouldn't have gotten to see any no, of that stuff no. or touched any of that stuff. Or... No. That was a once in a lifetime thing and now they've got it all commercialized and you know the state or whoever's running it and there'd be no way in heck you'd be allowed to go in those yeah, rooms. all the rooms are roped off now. And... Yeah you know but it would like I said it's one in a lifetime deal. One time we were in New York City seeing uh, visiting my aunt who was a model in New York she was my dad's twin and we went to the surprisingly your dad not a model <laughs> <laughs> no my dad was a model um now you may really lose my, my train of thought oh we went to the uh museum one of the museums they had there and we my mom and i were big queen elizabeth the first fans 
and there was Queen Elizabeth's bed and it had one of those things they have them at Williamsburg too where it's like a little sensor and if you're um, if, if you have movement over that sensor then the alarm goes off my mom couldn't stand it she just couldn't stand it she reached over and just touched the foot of Queen Elizabeth the first bed yeah she got yelled at but um, she touched it yes she did all right we're just about back to where we started from I hope you enjoyed this story and the drive through the day use area at Joe Wheeler State Park yep yep and I bet if we went to the Joe Wheeler house we would never oh that yeah like you say that that's a once-in-a-lifetime shot we got there before the state took over and roped everything off and we got there just as junior left to go to the store and, yeah and old granny was there to show us around yeah it really was an, a, a neat experience we have lots of those in our family and you know i've really tried to keep our stories and our children out of our videos um but i think I'll, i'm gonna just start telling you know some stories that don't mean you know that much huh. i mean i i want to respect the privacy of my family is all i'm saying so, yeah but that jennifer was three so there's no privacy when you're three yeah <laughs> yeah i have all kinds of great stories about my family of origin oh lordy oh lordy you just don't even know right. but out of respect we're almost back to the trailer. So yep. Bye for now. Story time is over.